Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and in today's video we are going to learn about Playfair Cipher in the subject of information security. Playfair Cipher is one of the substitution cipher technique. Right? In substitution ciphers we have six techniques. Right? Out of those we have learned three of them till now. I mean in the previous videos uh, I explained you about polyalphabetic cipher, monoalphabetic cipher and also about Caesar cipher. In the next coming videos, I am going to explain about um, the remaining hill cipher and one time pad. For today's, I mean for this video, we will learn about Playfair cipher. Okay, so this Playfair cipher is also called as multiple letter encryption cipher. Okay, multiple letter encryption cipher. Other name for Playfair cipher is multiple letter encryption cipher. Cipher, sorry. So, in this what are the requirements what is that we need and what is that we have to find out of course in any encryption technique we need plain text and we have to find its corresponding cipher text right so here also we need message message is nothing but the plain text this message is to be converted into cipher text okay and the other thing we need is the keyword or you can also call it as key okay these things will be given and you have to find out its corresponding cipher text what is its cipher text you have to find out okay so and we have some steps in this the first one is we have to construct a 5 into 5 matrix or into a 5 into 5 box we have to construct with 5 columns and with 5 rows and it will have 25 cells okay it will have 25 cells and the next we have to do is fill the matrix I'll explain you how to fill the matrix, don't worry. And then divide the message into two letter pairs. Two two letter pairs we have to divide our message, okay. That also I will explain you just a uh, theory I'm explaining you now, right. Okay, then I will explain you with example also, don't worry. Then apply rules and encrypt. You will have three rules to encrypt the message, okay. What if the... If both the elements here you are dividing it into two letter pairs, right? If both of the letters are in same column, how you should encrypt them? If both of the letters are in same row, then how you should encrypt them? If both of the letters are neither in same row or nor in same column, then how to encrypt them, right? These three rules you will be having, right? First, we will construct the matrix and we will fill the matrix. We will learn about how to construct the matrix and how to fill the matrix. Then we will learn how to divide the message and how to apply the rules okay first we will construct the matrix now so yeah in our example let us take the plain text is instruments instruments is the word which we have to convert it into cipher text okay we are finding the cipher text for this word instruments by using the key as monarchy okay monarchy is a word we are using as a key so this is our 5 into 5 matrix. We have 5 rows and 5 columns in this, right? And total we will have 25 cells. You have it 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 times 5 is 25. So you have 25 cells. Okay. These are columns. The vertical things are called columns. And the horizontal things are called rows. Okay. Why I am telling is many of us will get confused what are rows and what are columns. So that is why I am telling you. This vertical ones are called columns and this horizontal ones are called as rows. Okay. Now we will have to fill this matrix. Let us see how to fill the matrix. First we have the key as monarchy, right? We have to fill the words of monarchy from this direction to this direction. That means from left to right. We have to fill the letters of word monarchy. M O N A R. So this is completed, right? This row is completed. Now, but the keyword is not yet completed. So now let us move on to the second one. M O N A R is done. C H Y done. Now we have filled the keyword. What about the remaining places? What should be filled in the remaining places? Now let us see. Till now we have filled the keyword, right? After filling out the keyword, we should fill out the remaining alphabets in order. Right? All the 26 alphabets should be present in this matrix. You may get it out. We have only 25 cells. How to include the 26th alphabet? Right? 26th alphabet generally uh, will be like you will be writing two alphabets in a single box. 
I and J you will be writing them in a single box generally okay in most of the cases you will be pairing up J with I you will be first putting J aside then in the last you will be pairing up with, with I we will see it so after Y we are having now we have to recall all the alphabets now first alphabet is A right A is already included here so we need not write A again the next is we have B is B there here no we don't have B so we have to write B here the next we have C C is here so no need of writing C next we have D in that way you have to fill the entire matrix after D we have E do we have E in monarchy no right you will get E here then you will get F then you will get G, you have H, you don't have I, right? And J, J also should be written in the same cell itself because we have only 25 cells and we have to accommodate 26 alphabets, right? And after I, after I we have J and after J we have K. We don't have K also here, so K, then L, then M we have, N we have, O also we have. So the next one is P, P we don't have, P, right? The next we have Q, Q we don't have, so Q you can write. The next R is already there, so no need of writing R. Then you will get S, then T, then you will get U, V, W, X, Y we already have here, so we can write Z here. So in this way you have to fill the matrix, okay? You understood how, the fill the, how to fill the matrix now, right? After filling the matrix, what is our second step we have to do? We have to... Uh, split up each and every what do you say uh, sorry e the whatever the alphabets you are having in the plain text you should split them into two two pairs right two letter pairs you have to split them our first step was to draw a five by five matrix we did it and the second step was to fill the matrix that is also done and our third step is to divide this message into two two pairs into two letter pairs we have to divide them right let us divide i n S T R U M E N T and in the last we are left out only with S right so you can uh, add any other alphabet like X or like Z you can append it like means you can add it okay in the last let us assume we will add um, Z for time being so let us add Z so S Z will be one pair okay if you have odd number of letters and the last one is left out without any pair you can add any of the alphabet to that okay now dividing it into two two pairs is also done right now we will move on to encryption that means we will be encrypting it in two two pairs in will be encrypted ones st will be encrypted ones okay so we will write those first in the next we have st the next we have ru then we have me nt and sz okay now we will see how to encrypt them okay so first we will go for i n i and n we have to identify where is i and n located in this matrix okay here we have i and where do we have n here we have n right i we have at one place and n we have at the other place right so here we have n here i both of them are not in same row both of them are not in same column so they are in different row and different column what to do when both the letters are in different row and different column let us see try to form an imaginary rectangle like, like this try to form an imaginary rectangle joining these two n and i okay you have to form an imaginary rectangle forming joining these two then after forming rectangle you have to like what is its corresponding horizontal element you have to take that don't worry don't get confused for i or j what is the corresponding horizontal element we have we have g right and it should be on edges only whatever you are taking it should be on edges only okay for i and j the corresponding horizontal element is G, right? So first you will write G because you have I in the first. Okay. Then after writing G, let us see for N what you have to write. For N, we have to write A because the corresponding element for N is A. Okay. So for I, it is G and for N, it is A. 
okay you will get g and a the next we have the next pair we have is st okay clear right when they are not in same column or they are not in same row you have to try to form an imaginary rectangle and its corresponding horizontal element you have to take okay then for s and t let us see we have s here and t here both of them are next to each other and this is same row or same column that you have to identify they are in the same row they are not in the same column they are in the same row right when they are in the same row you have to take immediate right element okay row and right r and r okay row right so you have r and r right remember in this way so what is the immediate right element for s you may get a confused confusion you have to consider s first or t first here you have s first right so you have to consider s only first the immediate right element to s is t so you have to write t and immediate right element to t you don't have anything immediate right to t right so you have to come in this way right then here you have l so you will get t l okay s t is written as t l next we have r u let us look at where r and u are we have r here and we have u here oh they are in exact corners right they are not in same column they are not in same row so you have to form an imaginary rectangle you will get a rectangle in this way entire matrix will be covered right you will get a rectangle in this way okay now for r what is the corresponding horizontal element m you should not take a or n or o you should take the elements which are on the extreme edges only okay for r the corresponding horizontal row element is m so for r you have to write m and next we have u for u the corresponding horizontal element is z so for m you have to write z okay you will get m z next we have m and e m is here e is here right m and e both of them are here you have m here and e here both of them are in same column this is the new case we have learned about same row or different columns different rows we have learned about these two cases but we did not learn about what to do when they are in same column right when they are in same column you should take immediate down element okay so they are in same column and that is why you have to take immediate down element what is immediate down element to m you have c so for m it is c and immediate down element to e is l so it is c l okay next n and t we have next combination we have is n t we have n here and we have t here so again no same column same row so try to form an imaginary rectangle uh, you will get like this a rectangle you will be getting in this way okay and you have to identify what are the corner uh, elements like corresponding horizontal corner elements here you have n and here you have t when you join them you will be getting a rectangle in this way this is n right so what is the corresponding element to n you have to first see for n because you are having n first corresponding horizontal element to n is r r and corresponding horizontal element to t for t corresponding horizontal element is q so r q you have to take okay that is for n t next for s and z let us see s is here z is here they both are diagonally opposite to each other they are not in same row not in same column so we have to go for root 3 rule 1 is what to do if they are in same column rule 2 is what to do if they are in same row and rule 3 is different rows different columns then what to do so they are in different rows different columns so let us go for rule 3 okay in rule 3 we have to form a rectangle right so let us form a rectangle and after forming a rectangle in this way what is the corresponding element you have to s for s we have corresponding element to t right so you have to first write t and then what is the corresponding element to z it is x so you have to write x okay you will get tx right so this is the encrypted message for this corresponding plain text okay so for instruments 
you will be getting the message as G A T L. You can write them all like this also. G A T L M Z C L R Q N T X. Okay, this is T and this is X. Okay, this is the corresponding cipher text for this plain text instruments. Okay, in this way you have to solve any. You can solve any problem for Playfair cipher. First thing you have to do is you have to draw a five by five matrix. You have to fill the elements first. You have to finish filling up the key element. Then insert the remaining elements. After that, divide the given message into two 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 letter pairs. After dividing this message into two letter pairs, corresponding encrypted message you have to find out by applying the encryption algorithms. Sorry, the rules encryption rules. We have three encryption rules. If they are in the same column, take immediate down element. If they are in same row, take immediate right element. If they are in different columns and different rows, form an imaginary rectangle, and from that you have to conclude the encrypted uh, message. Okay. So for this plain text, this is the corresponding cipher text. Understood, right? So this may be very long, but it is very easy, very simple. Okay. Do not get confused. do not get confused in this rectangle part only the rows and columns you'll do it easily but do not get confused here okay that's all for playfair cipher next we will be learning about hill cipher which is some more complicated than this not hard just a bit complicated than this that's all okay so uh, don't worry i'm going to make it very easy for you i hope you guys are clear about this method and if you did not understood understand do mention it in the comments so that i will explain again because these techniques are really 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 very confusing and very you know like they are very easy of course but still a bit confusing so if you are not able to understand them mention in the comments do not hesitate and if you have not yet subscribed to my channel do subscribe and do not forget to share it with your friends okay and if you want me to include any other subjects or any other topics let me know in the comments so that i'll do it for you and i will give you the link of the information security subject in the playlist so that if you want to have a look at any other videos or any i mean any other topics or the subject you can easily get it there okay thank you for watching the video guys and do not forget to like the video if you have understood whatever i have explained clearly do give your suggestions in the comment box also so that i can understand what you guys are feeling about the video Thank you for watching the video guys.